Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Monique and I have exciting news. I got sent a wig to review. They contacted me on Facebook and their company name is Baba Ala Hair. This is what the box looks like. It's a big box. It says, here we are Baba Lava. And then on this side, it shows their website. In the box, before I show you the wig, it came with a brush, two wig caps, and a cute postcard from Shanghai, China. And here is the wig. I'm so excited to try it because it's, yes, it's pink, another pink one, but it's short and has roots. Let's go ahead and brush her. See if there's any shedding. And no hair is coming out. This is what the front looks like. Inside, it has pink lace with a comb in the front and two on the side. Also these adjustment straps. I finally bought some hair scissors, scissors for hair. And let's get started. In the comments, I've been reading that I'm supposed to leave lace, which I knew I messed up on on my first wig video. Let's see if I can do better with this one. Because right now I'm not going to glue it down. It's nighttime. And after this video, I'm going to go to sleep. Is this good enough or do I cut more? But. I think that looks pretty good. Let me go ahead and braid my hair real quick and put a wig cap. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pluck this part too to like make it more noticeable because on the camera it looks like there's no space right here. I think it's pretty cute. See how it's like long right here and then short in the back. I think that's cute. I, think I will never do my hair like that. Let me show you guys the back. What's the secret to when you put the hair behind your ear like it's so thick right here? Sometimes it doesn't hold all the hair as you can see. Like what can I do to make it flat? The first shedding that came out I love pink hair. I really wish I could dye my hair this color and not have it fade and not be damaging, but it doesn't work that way. Thank goodness for wigs. Let's see what it looks like with the side part. Would definitely need to be plucked if you're going to do a side part to make it even, but let's try shifting. I love a side part, but for this wig, I think a middle part will look best. I feel very thankful that Babala, Babala sent me this wig to review. This is the first company that has ever sent me something to review, and I feel very grateful for this. There was two other wig companies that contacted me, but they seemed fishy because they didn't have a website, and then they didn't have social media. And then there was another one that contacted me, but they were like, oh, pay for the wig, and then we'll refund you once you make the video. I was like, um, I don't want to get scammed. <laughs> so when they told me they were going to send me one, and just for a review, I was like, what? Let's do it. I can't wait to wear this out at night, because I, we all know this is not a daytime wig. At least not for me. <laughs> I still need to get used to having black over here because it does not look natural on me. I had to write all these notes down because I use my phone to record so I can't look at my phone, record, look at my phone, record. So I just wrote down. The density 
is 150% heavy density. It's described as pink ombre angled cut synthetic lace front wig. And the front inches are between 6 to 18 and the back is 12. But they do offer free shipping. It cost $99, basically $100. I honestly thought in the girl's picture that it was like a dark brown, that's why I got it. And I just checked the website and they added pictures of the actual wig. Cause it was like a girl, a random girl that took a picture with the wig and it looked brown. Maybe I guess she had like a filter or something. But once I checked the website today, they had pictures of the wig and it did show black. But if I would have seen those pictures, I wouldn't have picked this wig. But to be honest, I do like this wig. I like the color. I like the cut. This is something different. Just that it's not what I expected. So it kind of like made me, me personally, I cannot afford a hundred dollar wig. Not in my budget, not in my price range for wigs, but if you have the money to spend, you should check out their website. They had so many wigs to choose from. You could check out their social medias to see their wigs and what they look like on other people. I wish they would have given me a coupon code for you guys in case you were interested in this wig or their other wigs. I'm not getting paid to say anything nice about this wig. They just asked me to review it on my channel. I mean, I wish I was getting paid from them, but I'm not. Real quick, I'm going to compare this pink color to the last pink wig that I bought and see how close they are because they do look similar, but this has like a more of a purpley tint to it, I think, but I'll be right back. Definitely not the same. This is how I start her. Um, don't forget to let me know what you think of this wig. Do you think it's worth $100? And if it wasn't for you guys liking, commenting, viewing, sharing my rose gold pink wig video, I wouldn't even have the opportunity to review this wig so that's why i want to thank you guys it's all thanks to you guys and that's why i want to say i love you guys so much thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for being there for me i'll see you in the next one bye